Anatomy and Vitolas. A cigar is much more than a bunch of leaves. Anyone who has seen a cigar rolled knows the artistry is real. While construction techniques and component parts vary greatly, the general parts of a premium cigar remain the same. Head, shoulder, body or shaft, and foot. In 1676, the first large-scale manufacturing of premium cigars started in Sevilla, Spain. Spain wanted to maintain economic control over the colony of Cuba, so they took the raw materials home to manufacture. Large-scale manufacturing would not arise in Cuba until the 1800s. Regardless, since 1676, the major components of premium cigars have remained the same. Wrapper, binder, and filler leaves. Cigar Anatomy Wrappers Wrapper leaves are the most delicate, elastic, expensive, and aesthetically perfect leaf that is applied to the outside of the cigar. In addition, wrapper leaves contribute significantly to the flavor of the cigar since they will touch the mouth and tongue. Cigar makers are always trying to grow wrapper leaves, and many of those that don't make the cut will become binders. Cigar Anatomy Binders Binder leaves are the dense and strong leaves applied to the outside of the filler leaves, but under the wrapper, forming the bunch. The binder protects and helps form the filler tobaccos in the molds and presses. More on that later in the curriculum. Cigar Anatomy Fillers Filler tobacco leaves constitute the guts of the cigar. Filler leaves must be expertly bunched to make a well-constructed cigar that will draw and burn in balance. As we will learn later in our curriculum, three to five filler leaves from different countries, farms, harvest levels, and seed varietals will be used to compose this very complex recipe. Cigar Anatomy Head As we will learn in the cigar rolling section of Cigars 101, Cigar heads come in a variety of styles, varying in complexity and artistry. Premium cigar heads must finish the cigar attractively and help keep the cigar from unraveling while withstanding hours of mouth, teeth, and saliva stress. Ironically, these beautiful heads will be cut off before you smoke the cigar. Cigar Anatomy Foot the foot of the cigar is the end we light. Parejo cigars will have a foot as wide as the body and head, but figurados may vary. Extra care must be taken with the cigar foot as they can fray or tear while being handled and this can affect the way the cigar burns. The cigar foot is yet another point of artistry in cigar rolling, as illustrated below. Cigar Anatomy Round versus box press. Perhaps you've noticed by now that there is yet another twist to the anatomy of parejos and figurados, the box press. A traditional box press cigar would start off round but take on a more squared shape after being tightly packaged in a box. Contemporary cigar makers have taken this one step further and created more pronounced box press shapes. Today, there are even hexagonal box press cigars, taking traditions one step further. Cigar Anatomy Ring Gauge The length of cigars in the U.S. is measured in inches. In Europe and Asia, the measurements are metric. Ring gauge is the diameter of a cigar as measured in 60 fourths of an inch in the U.S. A cigar that is 64 ring gauge is exactly one inch in diameter. Typically, cigar measurements are listed as length by ring gauge in any of the formats shown below. In general, Thinner ring gauge cigars will express more of the cigar's wrapper's flavor because the proportion of wrapper to filler is greater. While thinner cigars may be more elegant and difficult to roll, they may have a tendency to burn hotter if smoked too quickly. Thicker ring gauge cigars will contain more filler tobaccos and have the potential to deliver a broader range of flavor. Thicker ring gauge cigars will also tend to smoke cooler and produce a larger volume of smoke 
per toke. Cigar Anatomy Figurado Ring Gauge While the ring gauge of a parejo is consistent from foot to head, the ring gauge of a figurado usually refers to the thickest part of the cigar. If two ring gauges are given, such as 1640 ring gauge, then the smaller number refers to the thinnest part of the cigar. The shape of a figurado will create a unique and specific flavor journey. This combination of shape and size is known as a vitola. Cigar Anatomy, Vitolas. Vitola is the general name for a specific size and shape of a cigar. A vitola can also be referred to as the cigar format. While there are standard and generally accepted Vitola names, like Robusto, which measures 5x50, manufacturers often create their own unique Vitola names for their brands. Cigar Anatomy, Vitola Standards. Here are some more standard Vitolas. After this part of the course, we will provide you with links to PDFs with enhanced information. Cigar Anatomy, Vitola Technique. Great cigar makers blend a cigar so that the flavors will develop as you smoke it. The flavor at the beginning of a cigar will usually change as it is smoked. Many cigar makers like to build flavors towards the center of the cigar and then finish smooth, while others prefer to finish stronger. The possibilities are a function of how the filler leaves are proportioned and placed in the cigar, as well as how the cigar is shaped. Some cigar makers attempt to make every Vitola taste the same within the brand, while others try to blend each Vitola individually so the blend is accentuated and paired with the particular size and shape. This means a Robusto could be blended to be full and robust, while a Lancero may be light and milder bodied, all within the same brand of cigars. There is a shape, size, and blend for every moment and every mood, Ultimately, each Vitola should convey something unique about the tobacco blend for a particular brand.